Hello and welcome back to Thermodynamics 2 Tutorials with Maria. We're going to be solving the second part of a sample right turn cycle, but we're going to be adding a regenerator. And then we are asked to find the new thermal efficiency. So what is a regenerator? It's a heat exchanger or just a device that is going to take the heat from a part of the si system and it's going to send it to another part. In this case, we're going to have, as before, the fluid going to the isentropic compression. Then we're going to go to the regenerator. This is going to be state 5. After going to the isentropic expansion in the turbine, the hot gases still have energy that we can use. So what we're going to do is we're going to send those hot gases to the heat exchanger or the regenerator. And we're going to use, we're going to use the, the energy from the hot gases in order to heat the flow from after the compressor before going to the combustion chamber. In our TS diagram, what it looks like is that if we will have an ideal heat exchanger with not losses, we will go from two to five primes. But because we actually always have losses, our heat exchanger is not perfect, we're going to heat from 2 to 5. So to find the thermal efficiency, we can start by writing the equation, which we know is going to be the work net, which is going to be equal to the work of the turbine minus the work of the compressor over the heat input. If we write the equations for each of the components, we know it's going to be equal to Cp times the temperature at 3 minus the temperature at 4. These are all the temperatures we have found in the problem before. So it's going to be kilojoule per kilogram per Kelvin. T3 is 1,373 minus 675 of 5 Kelvin. And this is going to be equals to 774 kilojoule per kilogram. For the work, of the compressor, we know it's going to be equals to T2 minus T1. So that's going to be equals to 1.004 kilojoule per kilogram per Kelvin. Temperature at 2 is 595.94 minus 293 Kelvins, and it's going to give us a work of the compressor of 303. 61 kilojoule per kilogram, kilojoule per kilogram. For the heat in, we are told that it's an ideal regenerator. So we assume that there's no losses in the heat exchanger. So that's why we can say that the heat in is going to be equal to Cp uh, times temperature 3 minus temperature at 5 prime, if it's ideal. And if it's ideal, we know the temperature at 5 prime is equal to the temperature at 4. And we can see here that it's the same. If we have an ideal heat exchanger, the heat in is going to be equal to the work of the turbine, which we already calculated, which is 774 kilojoule per kilogram. Now we can go back and plug it in our numbers here. So that's going to be 774 minus 30361 over 774. And that is going to give us a thermal efficiency of 56.7. And we see that before we have found we found around 50% of the thermal efficiency, and now we went out by 6%. We saw that in, in an ideal regenerator, the Q in, the heat in, is equal to the work done by the turbine. So we can write the thermal efficiency equals to work of the turbine minus the work of the compressor 
over the work of the turbine, which usually is the heat in, this is going to be equal to 1 minus work of the compressor of work of the turbine. If we write our equation, we know it's going to be equal to Cp. For the comp compressor, we know it's going to be T2 minus T1 over Cp of T3 minus T4. This one cancel out. And we're going to rewrite this, taking out the temperature 1, the first parenthesis, minus 1 over T3, 1 minus T4, T3. Let's recall the isentropic equation. So we know that T2 over T1, when the, we have constant entropy, is going to be equal to P2 over P1, K minus 1 over 1, K. We also know that P2 over P1, that's equal to the compression ratio. So this is going to be equal to compression ratio, K minus 1, K. And also what we know is that temperature at 4 over temperature at 3 can be equal to 1 minus Rc, k minus 1 over k. Now we can plug in back into this equation. So we're going to find for the thermal efficiency, it's going to be 1 minus T1 over T3. T2 over T1, we say it's going to be compressor ratio k minus 1 over k minus 1 over 1 minus 1 over compression ratio k minus 1 k. Now if we just rewrite it, we're going to find it's going to be equals to 1 minus T1 over T3. Now we're going to do it under the same denominator. So we're going to have RC K minus 1 K minus 1 over RC K minus 1 K. Then we're going to have RC K minus 1 K minus 1. So this is a division of a division. So if we bring it up, this is going to cancel. And we're going to find the thermal efficiency of 1 minus T1 over T3 times Rc k minus 1 k. If we plug in the numbers, it's going to be equal to 1 minus T1 to 93 minus T3 over T3, 1,373 times 12, 0 0.4 min over 1.4. And this is going to give us a thermal efficiency of 0 0.56.